Welcome to my channel, Creative Art. My name is Thelma and in this video, we are going to do clay painting. So friends, here is how our clay painting looks. It is finally dried up. I have kept it for at least 24 hours to let it get dry completely. The clay gets dried easily in 90 minutes. It is written on the product cover. So now we are going to start coloring using artist acrylic color. For different parts, we are going to require different colors. One by one, I'll tell you for which part, which color you'll need. So for the background, first of all, we are going to paint it in a combination of white and blue so blue will be the bottom and mixing it with white so let's start now so here friends I'm going to use a flat hair brush which is a flat thick hair brush number three and I'm going to start from coloring the bottom using light blue color And with that, I'll also take some dark blue and just dab it. I'll wash my brush now with this sky blue again. Start painting again in the same way. First, a flat wash. Okay, and for this part, now I'm going to use white and I'll start dabbing white from this part. Now I'm just using white. Dabbing that white in this light blue paint. We don't want a finishing look, so we won't create a finishing look, okay? Okay friends, so we'll let this background get dried up first and then we'll start the next process, okay? So friends, this is the finished look of the background and it has got dried up, okay? So now I'm going to show you the colors I'm going to use for lotus leaves and these are the three colors we are going to use. This is olive green color, sap green color and parrot green color. And for the lotus I'm going to use two colors. This is 341 pink and this is a pearl pink color. I'm going to use both of it. So let's start now. First of all I'm thinking to color the leaf and for coloring I'm going to use the tiniest brush I have like triple zero zero number one and a flat hair brush number three first of all i'm thinking to color using parrot green color just make sure that the color also reaches the curves we have created I'm going to use a bit of sap green in the center and start shading it. Okay, the same we are going to do with this leaf. And again, I'm going to use sap green color. Color the edges using sap green first. I'm going to use sap green color, pour it in the center part of the leaf. I'll color this leaves also green. These are the lotus bud. We 
are going to do same as we did with all the lotus leaves. Now use a good amount of sap green color, dab it inside all the lines we have created on the leaf. And using the same sap green, I'm going to color uh, the stem of the lotus. So friends, here all the leaves and the buds are being colored using two colors only. Now I'm going to start coloring the lotus part using 341 pink and a long hair number one brush. So I'll just directly take the color and start. You have to color every depth of it. There should be no place remaining where the color is not present. Okay, as it has its shape. As it has a conical shape, so every side and corner of it should be colored equally. Now I have placed my frame in a vertical way so that you can just see the way I'm going to color. Okay, so in this way you have to color the depth. So I'll, so I'll do so I'll do the same, just complete it and show you how it looks, okay? And friends, when we are once done with the coloring of pink color, I'm going to use all pink and color on the top of it. Just lighten the shade. In this way we have to just apply it on the top part because it will give it a shine. Same we are going to do with this lotus. Friends, after coloring the lotus branches and the leaves, I'm going to color the butterfly first and then the kingfisher bird. So for butterfly, I'm going to use yellow and black. First of all, I'll color it yellow. So I'll let this part get dry first and after that we'll color it black. Yeah friends you can see that our yellow color is finally dried up. So I'm going to use a fabric cone liner. This is acrylic, black acrylic color in this bottle which have this nip. So it makes it easy to color. So I'm going to color the head as black first. This is how it looks. Now we are going to color the bird and for the bird I have decided to color it as kingfisher. So we'll color it orange and blue. Okay. Okay, so now I'll just let the orange color get dry first and then we'll color the next blue okay now friends your our orange color has got dried up so i'm going to start painting blue and i'm going to use a dark blue color so i'll color from the head side first So friends, here you can see that our beautiful clay painting is pleated and this is how it looks. It has a beautiful 3D effect. You can very clearly see the 3D effect and 
and the beautiful clay from all the side it's been painted and this is how it looks so please do try to make it yourself and please do tell me in the comments below how did you find this video friends and if you did like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching